Rita wanted something that was really quite natural, something that looked like the bride had sort of done it herself. And we put a large curling iron through just to give it a bit more texture and movement. And then we just separated the back from the front and we had two sections at the back and we just twisted the sections into a double knot and secured them with pins. And then we brought the front over and then secured that into the rest of the ponytail as well. So it was really lovely. Rita's looks were always very, very elegant, but there's a certain edginess to it as well, which we wanted to maintain. We were playing up the light and dark and the transparency when light hits an object in a room. So what we're doing is we're taking a little bit of our white liner, placing that on the eye, and then we're adding our white pigment, just placing that right in here, because it's all about starry eyes for this season, creating this warm, transparent eye. Then we're going to take a liquid liner and just really tight to the lash line. We're going light to dark, so with the white being the light, going over to the dark represented by the black, and it's kind of like a dawn to dusk cascading across the lashes. Really clean, beautiful skin, and then also just a hydrated flesh lip. Definitely a wearable look. When you see it walk the runway, it's going to be beautiful. Spring 2016, it's all about light and the playfulness of light. I was inspired by a painting by Turner, who is a painter of light. He's got this great painting of a window with the light coming through at dawn. Just the rays sort of casting through and how it plays on everything. So I took that and I played with different lush fabrics, translucent fabrics, and creating depth in all the dresses so that you see the body and you don't see the body. You see shadows through the fabrics and there's this sensual illusion of what is it that I'm seeing. So it was all about lightness and delicate and the seeing and not seeing of the human form. We played with the color Dawn as it plays in with the theme perfectly and what I did is I layered that color under some translucent organzas. At certain times I used it as a liner and then draped different tools and laces on top of it. I always think Rita is beautiful. I think these particular fabrics were a lot lighter and softer, very dreamy. I think she was inspired by things that are a little bit more transparent and they were layered. I like the different mixes of laces, but I like that it was nice that they were kind of dimensional but still very light, and I think that's what our brides are looking for now. I played a lot with different laces this season and applying them versus playing with the entire piece of lace. So strategically applying them within the draping of tools and that way you got more diffusion happening and the play of lace with something under it and something over it. So it was a lot about playing with the whole depth of different lush layers.
thought it was lovely. I love what people are doing with Illusion. It's great and it gives the girls options. They can be as revealing as they want to be. The silhouettes this season range from contouring silhouettes, so we've got gowns that fit through the hip and then just flare out at the bottom with really lush details. the way to ball gowns. They're not huge ball gowns, they're just a good size with layers in them so that you've got that grandness without being overwhelming. This season I hope that people feel the lightness and the sensuality and the ethereal of all the silhouettes. Oh my God, it was so, so, so beautiful. I love the fabric she used, everything was just, and the new one at the end, oh my God, it was so amazing. When you're choosing a bridal gown, what's important is to look at things that you typically wear and look through your closet and see what shapes you're comfortable in. Then go try those on first, but at the same time, allow yourself to explore beyond that and try on shapes that you typically wouldn't wear. And a lot of times, a dress doesn't look great on the hanger, looks amazing on. Mm -hmm. 